there are some things wrong with my set theory recording. I'd like to fix those in this recording about unions and intersections. First, when you look at your preview page, the top looks like this, but some of you are uh, downloading the page and two symbols are missing from the bottom of the page. You should be able to see this symbol and this symbol at the bottom of your page. If you cannot, I need you to go ahead and write them in and I'd like to explain them. Intersection is what this symbol is. This symbol is union. And for me, the best way I keep these to um, be distinguished between them is U looks like union, and it's a big flat bottom U, and then the upside down one, it's intersection. When it asks what do the symbols mean, they are symbols in set theory. The first one means intersection, the second one means union. But the words that I'd also like you to write down is that for intersection, we're going to use the word and, and for union, we're going to use the word or. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you what that would look like and how we um, would see that on a test, uh, how I'd like you to manipulate intersection and union. But for the preview page, writing that it's intersection and that it means and, and that the symbol is union and it means or, is plenty, I would like to say just a bit more that and being for it to make it to the set that includes the intersection, our elements are going to have to be in both sets. They can't be either or, that's going to be the bottom one, and means it must be in like set A, and it must be in set B to be included in the final intersected set. The same thing with five on union. Union's going to be different than it is or. In other words, if it ends up being in our set A or it's included as an element in our set B, then we will include it in our final union set. I'm going to move on and show you an example of this. So this is how to complete the bottom of the preview. Now grab some scratch paper and let me show you some ideas on how these will look in our course. So we're going to use these exercises to describe intersection and union. I would go ahead and write down on your paper that our universal set is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I would go ahead and write on your paper that set A includes the elements 1, 2, 3, and 4, and write down that B, set B, contains the elements 1, 2, 4, and 5. We're going to do these one at a time, and I encourage you, as we've been doing, go ahead and hit pause, and you make an answer for A intersect B, and then come back and we'll work it together. So A intersect B, the word I said for intersect is and. So for an element to make it to our new set, it has to be in A and it has to be in B. I would use a lot of markings. I would underline, highlight, scratch through. In other words, I'm going to start with set A and run through all of set A. I have element 1. Is element 1 also in B? If the answer is yes, we include it in our answer. I have element two in set A, and it's also in set B. I will include it in our final answer. Element three is not in both, but element four is in both. I have a leftover here in B, which is element five, but it is not in both. And so now I have a final answer in two different colors. That's probably driving somebody crazy. The idea is, that you're seeing that A intersect B means go see what's all in A, go see what all is in B, and where they overlap, where they intersect, where they have this and that, that is what you include in your final set. I'm now going to go to 34. I'm going to erase all of this, and I want you to go ahead and try A union B complement. You already saw B complement in your notes, and B complement means it's going to be everything that's in the universal set, but not in B. 
well, it's in the universe and you take out everything that's in B. So yeah. anyway, I'll show you in just a second. Go ahead and try A union B complement. So we're going to find what's going to be in the set A union the complement or with the complement of B. I'm going to break this down. I want to see what's in set A. One, two, three, four. That's what's in set A. But what's in the complement of B? What's going to be in the complement of B is everything that's in the universal set, but not in B. So one is in B. I need to get it out. Two is in B. I need to remove it. Four and five, those are in B. So the complement of B is everything that's in the universe, but not in B. And so it's going to be three, six, seven, and eight. I like to write this out. I like to do it in stages. And so I now can see my set A. I can now see the set that's the complement of B. And now my instructions are, let's find the union of these two sets. Union is or. So if it is in A or if it is in B prime, then we get to include it in our final set. If we have duplicate numbers, we're only going to write them down one time. I'm going to go in a pattern. Like I'm going to start with A. A has a 1, a 2, and a 3. A 1, a 2, and a 3. I also have a 3 that I can include from B prime. But I still want to keep going that I have a 4. But it's not and. It's not overlap. It's a free-for-all. It's union. It's united. And so I get to also include everything that is in B prime. So our final answer for A union B prime is 1, 2, 3, 4. Six, seven, eight. Pause this video. If this is not making sense, go back and hear this again. Always email me. Always um, keep in contact that way. I'm going to keep going though, and I would ask that you go look at this question for A, the complement of A, intersect with set B. That's the one we're going to do next. I really want you to try it first, and then come back and we'll do it together. So here we go. For us to find the complement of A where it intersects B, what's going to be in that set, I will start with what is the complement of A. Here is set A, which includes the elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. I need to look at my universal set, and I want to pull everything from the universal set that is not in set A. Set A has a 1. Set A has a 2, a 3, and a 4. 2, a 3, and a 4. So the complement of A is 5, 6, 7, and 8. I need to intersect that with set B, which includes 1, 2, 4, and 5. Now that I can see my complement of A and my set B, it is asking for us to find the intersection of these two. Intersect is and. Whatever I'm looking at has to be both in A prime and B. And when I start to look for something that's in both, I'll start with a pattern. I'll start with the first one. Five is in both. Six is not in both. Seven's not in both. Eight is not in both. Well, we're done. I will double check to see if it's one in both. Two is in both. Nope. Four is not in both. So the final answer for the complement of A intersect B the only thing in that set is the element of 5. We're going to keep going. We're going to do 36 and 37. Please hit pause. Go ahead and do A union B and then it's complement. I'll go ahead and give you a hint while we're right here. I'm going to work inside out. So I'm going to do A union B first and then I'm going to go find its complement. So now let's look at A union B and then find its complement. So we want the final answer for the complement of A union B. I'm going to start with A, which has 1, 2, 3, and 4 in it, and set B, which has 1, 2, 4, and 5 in it. And the first thing I'm going to do is find A union B. A union B means we're or. If it's in A or if it's in B, it gets included in this set. 
So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be both. It's one or the other. So I have a one, I have a two, I have a three and a four from set A. I'm not going to rewrite them if they're also in set B, but I get to include a one. It's already there. I get to include a two. It's already there. And a four is already there, but a five is not there. So A union B is one, two, three, four, five, but I'm not done. It's not just A union B. They want the complement of A union B. So now I'm going to go to the universal set. The complement is everything that's in the universe, but not in whatever I'm indicating. And in this case, it's A union B. So 1 is in A union B. 2, 3, 4, and 5 are in A union B. So the final answer for this what is the complement of A union B? It would be what's left over in our universal set, which is 6, 7, 8. So here's our final answer, and we're going to do one more together. 37 is what's next. Go ahead and hit pause and work on it by yourself, and then come back and we'll work on it together. So the last question we're looking at is the complement of A intersect the complement of B. The complement of A intersect the complement of B. What's that set going to be? I again will start in pieces. I'm going to go to the complement of A. A is 1, 2, 3, 4. I go to the universal set. I take out everything that's in A, and that tells me the complement of A is what's left over, 5, 6, 7, 8. I now need to do the complement of B. But before I do, let me actually undo that. Uh-oh, I don't want to undo those. Um, so let me, hang on just a minute. And so A, the complement of A is 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm just going to change colors to do B then. To do the complement of B, I need to take 1, 2, 4, 5, out of the universal set. So I will take out 1, 2, 4, and 5, but that leaves that 3 I've covered up. 3, 6, 7, and 8, those are the complement of B. It's everything in the universe that's not in B. Now that I have my complement of A and my complement of B, I can finish up because I need to find the complement of A intersect the complement of B. Intersect means and. So my final set will have everything that's in the complement of A and everything that's in the complement of B that are the same that match. They both have a 6, they both have a 7, and they both have an 8. So to finish up, our set that is the complement of A inter intersect the complement of B is going to be 6, 7, 8. This concludes... A, an extra video on set theory, specifically looking at unions and intersections. You can now go complete the preview, excuse me, the practice assignment for set theory.